All right, what's going on, Bama 2025? Super cool, I got into the show a little bit early and they are actually unfolding the 70 meter Zoom Lion concrete pump here. 70 meter, one, two, three, four, five, six, six section boom. I timed this just right. Thing's a monster. And how cool is that? It looks like for a big boom, it looks pretty nimble having the uh, the six boom arms on it. So you don't have any super long sections. Back out for your leg is super long, as is the front, which I guess is not to be surprising for a 70 meter concrete pump. It looks like. No, maybe not. I was going to say, it looks like maybe there's some carbon fiber sections on there, but there's not. You can see see all the, uh, the cutouts in the second to last boom arm, as well as the main boom arm. You'll see when they unfold this thing here. They've removed a, uh, a lot of material. Looks funky to the uh, untrained eye. I'm sure there's some highly technical engineering behind it. I kind of want to go bug the operator. Every time I'm running the pump, somebody comes and talks to me, so. You going str straight up in the air? He doesn't want to talk to me. I was going to tell him that I'm a former Pump Rodeo winner. He probably heard that I lost the last two times and I'm blacklisted. <laughs> he doesn't want to chat. Don't worry, we'll break the ice. He's got a, he's got a tough outer shell. Holding it up here. I don't know what's going on. He knows the Canadian concrete pumpers here, so he's instructed to put the boom away and stow it. There's a there's a spy who's infiltrated the booth. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I see what he's doing there. He was just uh, deploying the flag. I want to go try and talk to him again, but I think, I think he might get mad at me. Maybe it's just a language barrier. I think I seem pretty friendly and approachable. I don't know. Maybe not. One, two, three, four, five, six axles for a 70, 70 meter pump. I think in North America we'd be on eight, I'm gonna say eight. Well, maybe seven, maybe get it on seven.
guy's like every other pump operator today. He's on his phone. Look, check it out. Okay, now these guys are just annoying me. Look at the stroke on that uh, rear leg. My guess is that the cylinder passes up through the outrigger leg. That's why there's so much travel for it. Straight up in the air, like this. Can I steer? I ran these at home. I'm a certified pump operator. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> oh. I think those rear legs come out. I think they're like 20, that's like 30 feet on the back on each side. That's a, that's a big spread. It's a nice looking pump. I'd love to talk to somebody about it, but that is appearing to be a challenge. <laughs> Great big shift cylinders. I don't know if these are closed loop or open loop hydraulics. Is that a hydraulic pressure washer? I'm at the show I don't want to uh, chop this up in the clips and have to edit because I want to post this quick and right away so we'll keep it uh, we'll keep it dirty and I mean content wise I mean uh, editing wise here I'll try and entertain as much as I can while they uh, go through the process here So big, I gotta get further away here. I gotta step back.
seems like that would put a hell of a lot of uh, strain on that uh, that boom cylinder that's fully extended right now to lift that fifth section vertical, but we'll see. Ah, no, no problem. English or they just don't like me. <laughs> well, there she is, all unfolded. Seventy meter zoom line straight up in the air pretty impressive lots of uh like i said lots of weight reduction in the sections and the sides and the tops sections a b and then even section uh section e e has a bunch of uh a bunch of swiss cheese in it too which is different i haven't seen that before but like you said i ain't no engineer so it might look funky to me but it makes sense makes sense on paper it equates on paper to somebody so 